An extension of the round now. Through the next, still five versus five. And shot darts flying through and past. Kang Kang, the slightest of off angle. They've got doubled up in hell here with Aftershock and Paranoia. This should be very, very difficult for Team Heretic to retake unless they go heaven. Dunn lands right at the feet as the Aftershock pulls out as well. Still have Paranoia. Yeah, and that U-Tilt is going to be used to exchange hands once more. Paranoia in the face! Kang Kang's body blocked! And EDG eviscerating! Felling the Heretic's players! Where they start Carry them through games, this is a team now. Yeah, shot that actually misses, doesn't actually break the initial trip. Kang Kang's gonna think that that is free real estate and instead just hands over his life. Open handed there towards Benji Fishy with one plucked out of the picture. He might be looking for a few more. He's getting reinforcements, fast re clear. It's called out now by Heretics using the drone to pave the way. Should be spotting this out. They're aware of the fact that it's onto the sea site. All about how the battle begins though, towards the back of the side and Team Heretics have rifles in hand. Gone to break a similar shock, a similar trip again. Still out to the open, barely a shoulder, it's enough for Kang Kang to capitalize. Bad positioning from Wu, big mistake. Mini is gonna see if they can shore this one up, straight through mid, up the gut, down and out, and contact is called. Chi Chu, none the wiser. Heretics bringing this to that four versus four, nobody. I'm wondering there, looking for an opening towards the left. A side, but call is now made. 27 seconds left. They want to go over towards C, and guess what? Reinforcements have arrived. Benji Fishy and Miniboo once more. An attempt to play spoiler. Paranoia sweeps through. No connections at all still. Kang Kang delivers them three in a round so far. And enough when, damage done for the plant down. Right. When Simon's stun isn't there, Kang Kang's stuns are. And that was perfectly positioned over towards Logs. The timing could not have been better. And now they're splitting this up, trying great. to catch timings on Rien's and Boo. Heretic's always going to be doubled up here, prioritizing that discipline. The timing is missed. Ships in the night. Kang Kang spotted and cannot recover. Taken down, out of the fight. Simon, this rookie to the stage, this rookie to the team. To deliver a clutch as he's done so before. Fault line ready. Sends it out preemptively. Boo is sticking. Damage needs to be done. Bullets need to be finding their targets for Rian. The swing to find. Shown by Rian's. Taking a gander and a glance over towards Lobby. They're not expecting that at all. Off angle is beautiful, but a flash and a peek and a swing on top of it. Mini Boo seeks to supplement the fight once more. He's everywhere. Still keeps the lead for his team in terms of that player advantage. Woot. Flash and a peek as well. He needs to get himself back through Link. Chichu thinks himself. At least he thinks he's earned himself for timing! Kang Kang, what is that? Oh, through the back though, Benji Vichy cleaning up. Any sort of blind spots that might have been occurring. Still a 2v3, there's chances for EDG. But they're going to be running into Benji's utility here. Simon's got to break this. And even if he invests the ultimate, that'll probably just be to get the plant down. Let's see. Is he going to be able to have this timing to pull it off in the post? Yeah. It's not yeah. flood being called here by Heretics. They want to make sure that they hold it down. Collected into the retake now with a paranoia, but that's a big miss. The odds going to be expended and pull it to the dome side of the head. Kang Kang, too much to overcome. It's Wood who puts him to bed, puts oh, drop down. 45 health still alive and kicking. He's dancing around. Most of the util and still coming up with a Benji. Return to the fire and through the flames. You're not coming out unscathed. 2v3, EDG are going to have to pull out something incredible here, and they've only got 15 seconds. Time is just against them. The ult? Yeah, ult oh, pivot over and away, but again, the timing is going to be brutal. Kang Kang still collects the one. It's a 2v2, but it's a four seconds. He missed it! He's missed the timing! What's he doing? Brutal! And nerves! Frantic on stage! On display! Take a scramble, mad dash to see. They're going into the Rolling Thunder. This is where Wo Woot is. This is where the, the trips are. Deep trip for info. Yeah, and that's already spotted. But, you know, he's dropped in a moment's notice. 20 seconds. Here's the old Woot. He's getting ahead of all of this. Wants to take the peak and wants to take the fight. Hunter's Fury trying to bail them out. Slow down to a crawl. Aftershock in their face. It's full util spam. Cacophony of all of it into the back of the site. We go. Twists and turns. The tail's being weaved, no but it's all on Heretics' Five side. Again, EDG! The clock being the biggest enemy, Boo just stays. Beautiful info. You know, at least three is there, and the fight is called. The kill collected. Kang Kang just forced to watch from the spectator seat now.
And look at the defaulting, it's just not good enough from EDG. They're not breaking Benji's utility. He's locking down the whole of B and C on his own, allowing the rest of Heretics to stack A. EDG have no way through, and if they go back and try to break these trips, they're going to be too late. There's only 50 seconds left. This is looking like another round that will be so, so difficult for EDG to put on the board. Still walking most of the way. 40 seconds here. Trip in their face. They're going to be slowed down by Woot. Abundance of util. Trip once more. They've walked up right close and they will be breaking seconds. this one. TP. No, there's no cover. And Woot's right there. For the punish, Chichu vacuuming up space, hoping the rotations are abound. Might be able to catch this timing, yes! Head missed! Boo just trying to catch that sightline. K just dropped down, trying to get his team in. 14 seconds, again time, running away from them. Hourglass potentially trying, nobody's gonna stick this plan, and Mini Boo cleans up the flank. Forward aggression showcased by Chichu, he knows he has to take risks, he knows the matters need to be taken into his own hands. No or theft. Reveals all. The dart is dealt with, but Heretics have players, they've got bodies, they've got util, and they've got guns! The aim on the split! No two from Boot. It's instinctive, no wonder that could be the time to strike, and guess what, Rian's way ahead of him! Nobody picked Damn off, it. and that's gonna spell defeat, he knows that the hit's coming in. Sidestep, fault line, not connecting there, and heads are being popped, rattled off the shoulders. Chichu is gonna try and make a play. Makes his way over towards C, but again, 17 seconds There's left. There's barely Josh. time for the spike to this get there. This keeps occurring. Amar dash and scramble towards the end of the game. Oh, at the end of the round, left. Chichu at least will push back Mini Boo. Caught what by the trip. Six seconds, caught by the trip. Four seconds. You got to stick it. And he have to shock denies it. We will pay for it for his life, but at the end of the day, it's another. Exactly so. Drone tagging again. The heavy reveal, there's nothing obfuscating this from EDG. They're gonna try and go in with brute forces to play. Dart up and over. It's dealt with. Broken inside the smoke, dominated by Rians. He wants to potentially take the timing, but the stun connects in through the by Mini Boo is there to meet him. Come knocking to the side, but it's all too obvious. Spike down. And the reality is starting to settle in. The Chichu now in a 1v4. It's an impossibility. Spikes in no man's land. Sad spot for him to be in. The rest of his team have not been defaulting and breaking the enemy Cypher Util. He's not been able to pull off these big lurks. When they have come, they've been too late and his team has been losing to the clock. And now the rest of the team has to sit there silently, allowing him to try to go for the clutch. Wow. And just wait and fester. Stick around on the C site and try to deal with things. He just thought that was the lurk. It's daylight robbery. EDG need it. Every round I can get. Nefarious means or not. Here's the ult though. You hear that one? Spike a panic in the back of the mind. It's Kang Kang who's the one with that ult in his hands. Nobody trying to hold that one. Dan is good. With the tracking again, weaving in and out. Sidestepping, dancing. It's graceful by Kang Kang. Still alive as well. Time is ticking. Boo! What is that? Return of the fire from the side, Heretic's gonna barrel over them. Wu have so much more to do here, but I think it's too late. Time being that deciding, defining factor all around. An EDG at least. Right. Nobody might miss that timing though, still. Heretic set up for the A split, and the util is connecting. Listen, the spades of it. More where that came from. No clean kills really to be found here, and it's EDG, they're gonna barrel the way through, they just can't do it! In pieces, onto the ground! Pistol round cleaned up if I've ever seen one. The 2v5, it's just gotta be... Heroics and a miracle, I think, on the side of EDG. Looks like Benji's on the flank, seeing if Smoggy's gone for a teleport play past his trip, because they're just startled at how slow Smoggy and Chishu are to begin this retake. Yeah. It's a 2v5. More dominance for Heretics. As I said, I mean, Util in spades. They're going to just cut them out of the picture here. Peeking as soon as there's contact. Recognition that the players are falling. And they're looking amazing here to begin. Similar parallels, but there's an opener. EDG sorely needed. Four player, five from EDG as well. Committing massive resources to locking down A lobby. This is 
kind of similar to how Team Heretics were defending. Yeah. Except they were often leaving the Neon to fight over this area rather than the Sova. Bit of a handshake with the drones there, just trying to get that information. Smoggy on the line, that is nice. He hit two body shots onto Rient. Definitely did. Right there. I was claiming these kills. Benji, though, taking up some space. Spotting that there's gaps in the play. The defensive protocol to EDG still. Raw aim on display, Benji. Might be getting away with murder still. I have retrieved the spot. He'd have to ace to finish up this round and just not anticipating it. Kanking already up onto the line. Potentially rewarded, could be the difference. Flash evaded, fires off the shots though, and now they know exactly where he is, at least they should! But they don't! Unanticipated, and Heretics pay the price in blood. 11 seconds left. Shot to pieces! And this is going to be bloody. A skirmish laying in way, dash it forward, stunned up! On either side, Kang Kang controlling the rifle, controlling the spray still. It's all heretics, baby. Up in the feed in a 2v1, they paved their way towards the A site. Chi Chu seeking to get himself in there, trying to play ahead of the timings, but he can't dodge the paranoia. And it settles into the back of his mind. He hears the footsteps, defense is necessary. Boo! My God! Just one more stepping stone, all that stands between them and the map. For the first time, EDG go for the walk down mid. And Team Heretics, they're having none of it. No. Full ult, baby, send them away. Yep, and that's going to be clearing out most of the site. Boo sticks it down into hell. I know that A is easy access. So just a little bit of worry in the back of their minds about A short. Still with that smoke that's propped up. And it's buying time and space potentially. But they're in these footsteps. Kang Kang dodging, weaving, ducking from the bullets. Simon with the cage. Not even in his face there. It's offloaded. Alts rattled back. The rolling thunder seeking to deny and delay some space. It's up to these players on the flank of EDG to see if they can do something. Kang has been left alone to his own devices. Top of the right ball, beautiful, lands it still. Here's the cleanup crew arriving in kind. Start from the side, wall up. Hunter's Fury, there is no escape. For the rest of his team, time has been bought. A purchase, a mad dash and scramble. The moment's notice, Woot. Ready to strike, shot darts forward, strips are broken, holding for it. That's a dry swing and peak by Heretics, but to no avail. Well, you see three players there. Does that mean that you want to go now over towards A? And if so, Boo was holding a one way until it sunk into the floor. Yeah, losing track of A main. Boo forced to jiggle. But this is where the knife can come in handy. Look at Woot setting up the knife lineup. Oh. He is, he's just yeah. thrown it, it's up and over. So that's going to give them a little bit of info when it only tags. Well, in fact, when it tags onto zero players over towards elbow, that's a slightly different knife. They're going to know and keep the stack on B. Still Woot's so good at that. Yeah, yep, stacking from Heretics. They've got bodies ready to respond once more. Kang Kang's forward though, steps up to that challenge still. After the back, Mini Boost here, jumping around with the right clicks in hand. Kang Kang not enough to offset it and still players are getting brutalized. Trying to enter their way in through this side with 15 seconds left to spare EDG. It's Simon forced to stick this paranoia. It's picture perfect. Ibu is low. Here it is. Top of the gun. Chi Chu's there with a flash in his place. Still tied up close to the corner. Boo. In that one v one. Chi Chu dismisses. It's new to a match as big as this on the global stage as well. As you said, it takes a while to set in realize actually we deserve to be here we're giving the players who've earned our spot it's all about grasping it when opportunities are present denied entry just from the nade a fragment nice forwards drone is also going to be broken woot on the back step still that trip placed down here and it needs to be an attempt by edg benji tries to reset with the aim actually dropped down to his knees chichu oh, he's taking chunks out of him Minibu now revealed off! And heads popped off. Chichu's not stopping. Who's left to do it all in a 1v3? And feeling it now! Empowered by that performance. EDG. And with the nade being thrown on the B side of the map and Minibu not being That's turned off, they want no part of it. Yeah, EDG all the way up for a minute as well. This time he might not be anticipated. Benji! He's gone, he's taken out. The swipe of a hand and a glide from Kang Kang Man. Woot needs to try and make the play. 
attempt to dominate the angle. Broken to pieces here, and now three to stand. It is granted and gained. Simon with the plant. Up on the bound there. Need rebounds, but Smog is already collecting all sorts of kills. Crossed up. On there. They need an opening to fill that willingness, I think, to expend this ultimate here. Mini Boo! He's chopped down, cut down. Phantom spray by Kang Kang. He used to be heroics up and over with the flash. Ooh, at least taking out Kang Kang, but time is going to start ticking. The bait and switch setup just does not work. Nobody stands tall against any sort of challenges. Heretics has more than two kills across six rounds. Money again is just being stretched thin. Desperation, oh. Kang Kang! But he opens it up, and potentially closes out the round with that one. It's a first kill with no follow up inside again from Heretics. Heretics still have the best 4v5 win rate in the tournament. I mean, out of all teams, they were the ones who specialized Hello. in that. Yuta was broken. Flash to try and set this one up. That is a desperation play if I've ever seen one. You mentioned it, Josh. Best, best 4v5 win rate, My but if you don't get that initial trade, which is so core to the way that Heretics play, yep. then you're in a you're much, gonna be in trouble. much more difficult spot. That's why Rian's tried to equalize it there. Yeah. And now they're going to be in tough spots again. Exploring, potentially, they're calling for it. Underhanded with the flash. There's too many targets to really deal with. Still that one for one! And now space created and taken. Kang Kang not to be denied. Any sword and semblance of the side. Woot dodging, juking, but again this guy is relentless. He's got them every impact kill in the round, Kang Kang. He's just been everywhere for EDG. Cannot be stopped. Who obtains the upgrade? And that was the first one. It's an obstacle remove, but two more where that came from. And Kang Kang, this guy, look at him. It's out. Nade coming. Hey, yeah, here in that drone, you're going to see the dart through the back. And now there's that paranoia swinging through, but the timing on that smoke is just impeccable. Woot does not feel like he can step past that one. Kang Kang's straight through and out with Benji Fishy taken that's, out. That's the kind of spot where I'd like to see them commit to it. You know that there's a player trap there. If they were running Neon on this map, that's be, that would oh. be a situation where Minibu would stun and run at the defender in mid. Nobody's a bit brave to take this fight, but the Tart spots it out. And now another re-clear call. It's Kang Kang, man! He's barely on any sort of life at all. Hanging on by a thread, yet still navigates the danger. Takes out the half by. I knew where Boo was from prior. They brought him down, hunted him down! They want him to get that ace! ADS up. Just trying to lean onto those reaction times here, but with every single pass at the moment, EDG are just disrespecting this. They're all the way in through the back of the site. That's a dart. Connecting. Flash the follow-up as well. Woot! No long for this world. Showstopper rebounds, but only the one nobody has done all the work. Overdrive. Offloaded. Quick pivot. Smoggy's around. Norof F connects. And alongside the paranoia still, tangled up, tied up, Benji Fishy is alone, he's isolated on a bloody island, <laughs> and I they mean, want the kill. There's, there's no reason to go into him whatsoever here. EDG, I think, have overthought it, but it didn't make a spot of difference. They had access to either site they wanted to go to in this round. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds, but this time, it's not going to be even a shadow similar to Haven. Those rounds where the clock denied, and EDG's attack side calling oh, looked boy. dismal. This could not be more different. It's looking like almost a clean sweep. And Benji, no luxuries granted or given. No rifle for the next. It's nine in a row. Really run out of ideas. One of the big reasons they've been one of our best teams of 2024. But right now, Strapbook looks cooked. Bloody hell, use the momentum of the trap wire. Spraying them down here. The teammates had his back. And Kang will fall. Not without their reward and boot. Hello, Rian's <laughs> right from behind. They're striking. But nobody's going to try and offset this now. Even Smoggy side by side could beat by Boo. This is just getting ridiculous. Dart through alongside that paranoia, reclaiming the space. And the spike alongside it. It looks like Rian's might have an opportunity to do it all. He's on the flank, creeping up behind Smoggy. Best chance in a long while to get around, especially when it's just down to Smoggy. 1v2. Rians creeping, crawling up onto the angle. Reveals his hand with the deep dart. Clears him out, gives that peace of mind. Up, up, close and personal. Boo! 
Looking to break the box. He's just missed the timing, but he spotted the barrel. And there will be no betrayal this time. It's all on the side. It's going to need to be tapped into. Heretic's doubled up, trying to hold it. Stun, good connection, reveal onto all of them. And now the side swipe. They all topple. They all fall. An attempt by Benji Fishy is all for naught. Just the one before he's dropped back. Down to that spectator seat, forced to watch this round play out. They were not ready for the his way over towards B. They are still trying to change up these defensive spots. One trip broken. From clears. TP backing away. Are they Final reading round. the pinch through yeah. market? I mean, listen, they're going to have a vice grip onto these defending players, anchoring or not in through the cage. Just trying to stay alive, trying to dodge and weave all sorts of bullets. The nastiness is coming their way. Boo, a flicking adjustment. It's just not there in time. It's overwhelming. This Aura and an EDG are giving out an 11. For now, so the setup remains up. It's a nice idea from Team Heretics, trying to get that punish on the Saifu. He's often going to be trying to play aggro towards B main. There's a trip there, and they know it. And there's oh. the punish, actually. Pretty good. You've got to be able to shut down Kong Kong in these rounds. That's certainly something that Heretics have learned. Come. Gotta oh, get that info. Timing. Timing. Miss! Wait a second. Players are there, ready for the trade. Boo to respond. That might make them think that there's nobody home at B, because why would somebody be pushing out and anchoring the site? And yet there are actually two people ready to defend this. Smoggy and Chichu. Smoggy's Not quite angle. shoulder to shoulder. Smoggy's on that high ground angle, perched up. Barely peer over that smoke. It's just dropped up. Blossoms, blooms. Chichu is getting brave. 29 seconds left. They gotta know at this point, but with the walking in play, contacts by Heretics! Finally, a few straight shots hitting. Damage done onto the other side of things. Trying to go for the swing. Paranoia sweeps through and through the smoke. They knew that Chichu was low. 13 seconds. Time becoming an issue. EDG. Smoggy. Definitive chances. Nade rebounds. Smoggy trying to play himself back in here. Doubled up side by side. It's Heretics. Drifting. Missing. And the shots matter right now! Smoky! God damn, man! He's not giving Heretics an inch. One. Can't recall. Put it on a show right now. Another round where Kankan -Kan does end up falling early. It's hard to see that it would matter at all, though. My eyes are down. All or nothing for Heretics. That investment. It bear fruit. Double up. Jumping alongside it, trying to bait these players right back in as well. Simon is being pushed, warded into this corner, and the util ricocheting, rebounding! A desperate effort to save his life. All for naught here on the side of EDG. An all in attempt now, spraying them down. Spectre and Han Chichu only able to get the one. Smoggy once more in a 1vx scenario. This time an extra player. But he's caught a really quick timing again. It could actually be doable. He's low. Doesn't want to reveal his position with a bit of stray spam. He's just perched up. High ground. Up and around here. Bulldog spray, but dropped down to 27 health. Time begins to tick. Who will swing as soon as there's contact? Signs of that live. Snaps to the side and almost made me believe. We find value. Absolutely. Drone. Spots the one. Yeah, I mean, that, that tells you everything. You know that they're not going to be hitting A in the next. 10 seconds, and you also know that they've tried to insert somebody. Absolutely. So they could go for the re-hit later. Certainly. Even an open take sight. Chichu. So there's going to be much safety for him to cross back up and away here. The dart they found my wire. spells it out for him. Trip's going to be cleared. EDG, a rapid though onto the approach. Rabu has got it handled nicely. Clean shot. Once more, you've removed that heavy hitter. Team Heretics falling back. Reconfiguring into this round. In through B. Miniboo's going to be taking point and contact. Oh, feeling like it was necessary. And, well, still alive and kicking, but potentially not for long. Yes, Smoggy returns it straight away. Straight bullets, all it takes. EDG now to try and chew through this hold. In through B main, a tap onto the spike. The cannon for Boo, he just absolutely overwhelms. Onto that spot in position and nobody. Oh, Kan Kan or Chichu. There's always danger lurking every corner. One mistake from Heritage. Exactly. And it's over. These these comebacks, they, they almost never happen. 
simply because it's an EDG. Weaker weaponry, you can take those risks. You can make your move. What a risk he's taken. Yeah. He's Pushed found up. the timing. He's right past him. It's going to be a trip in his face at least, but might be able to hunt down Boo. Still, Boo is in a very defensible position. Slicing the pie from Mini Boo. Trying to. Okay, maybe. Stopping short of the mark. He's still aware of the fact that there could be that play. And it's made here. The paranoia sweeping his way through. Just can't quite wrangle. The beast in control of the sheriff swiping his way in. Kaikang! Here he is! Playtime's over. They're done messing around. EDG want to go on to the next. There's an ult for Boo. We'll be able to pick up the spike, but it's a hard read by Simon. Look at this guy. Ready to just deny! 13! Kitchen Sink is lobbed over towards it, trying to take that fight with a fault line. That's a good connection, Kang Kang. It's blood in the water, he can sense it, smell it, trying to go for the pincer, contained for now. Heretics have the advantage. They've stunted and slowed down this push. Nobody seeking to redeem himself into that spot for a moment's notice. Taking these timings, this is shown. Miniboo, he's stuck with the spike. It's fully squeezed. Out of spot, out of position, still satchels through and his team's going to make the decision for him. Taking that space onto the site, now everybody trying to go for the retreat, damage done, top and away, pistols in hand. Not enough to claim these kills, but soften them up potentially for that rainy day. Kang Kang is relentless, he won't let them loose and he will not let them have even a single chance. Heretic somehow finding heads and finding a way through this, tap through the wall, nobody. Is left in a difficult spot, a 1v2, but all that damage done, as we said, Briar shots online! Today, two players crossfire setup. Might seconds. just get put into the blender. Okay, Kang Kang tries to play off the flash. Got him a couple of these eco kills, he's handed over the rifle to them. Not just that, damage, straight shot, straight through the smoke, and move with the possibility to get this plant online. Putting the pressure down on Doreans. He still returns with a frag. Traded though. And Heretics have set themselves up into this post plant. Benji's the one with the rifle. Did Smoggy see Miniboo here? I don't think he did. Fault line ready. Time to strike is nice. Smoggy's trying to run these players. Down still! Just defended from above. Benji Fishy, man of the hour. Time's out a tick here, on through the spike, and that rifle handed over, a costly mistake. Chi Chu has to pick up the pieces and forge a path to victory. No more bullets left to do it, and Miniboo knows it. Locks it down. Oh. There's nothing really innovative. Okay, Kang Kang. Takes a gander and a peek. And th this spike is in serious danger Ooh. of being lost. Benji's taking a risk even going to retrieve it right now. He's having to slow down the footsteps. He doesn't know if the space has been taken. And now scurrying away. Slight mistiming there. Could have spelled defeat and doom for him, but okay. Oops down the turret. Side's been taken up, but the players are in position. EDG have got them surrounded on almost every left. front. But their weapons aren't good enough to spam, so this plant should go down fairly easily. They throw the paranoia in as well, just to make sure nobody can play Waterfall. Aftershock is good. Kang Kang being played in here. All that sound and distraction. Shots are here. Heads barely poking over. No matter's not. Give him a pixel, give him anything. Kang Kang will make it work. Guns have been handed. Tossed over. Benji Fishy, 1v2. Has a lot to deal with. Prowler running him down and nobody's right there alongside it. Playing really passively over towards B right now. Kang, wall in his face. That's Chichu taking the timing straight through the smoke. The kill lighting up the feed. That's all the acknowledgement they need. Kang, Kang. I think you, you've got to give up an A here. Just yeah. group B or C and use the lockdown. They've got no way to really remove it. 30 seconds left. An option might be just being forced into their hand. Simon. Slight jiggle again. Grabs the information. Damage is being done. Stray shots are fired in through B. This feels. A little bit hectic on the side of Heretics. Boo! He goes down to the aftershock, none the wiser. The plan tonight. Chichu from behind. God, he's not slowing down. Seven seconds. He will seek to deny. They're going into a seize and a medal. There is a chance that Heretics get melted. He could eviscerate them. Gets the connection and the reveal. But it goes on either side here. Fully revealed up. Mini Boo cleaning up onto the corner. Cuts it up from Chichu. 
trying to get his team right back into this one here. He does have the angle, but he hears that TP and he's anticipating it in a different direction. And ult, locked down, it's dropped down. This is trying. Heretics now to pave their way through. There's not going to really break that one. I mean, Simon, he's going to place the aftershock to see if he can delay and deny the plant from going down, but tucked into the corner. Rians will get an extension of time into the round now. EDG up onto the flank with the flash. Come through waterfall. Overdrive into the hands of Kang Kang. Rians just can't hold a candle to that. Movement too good. Chi Chu defusing, but sprayed down. Beam down. Wood holding it down. Nobody can cross the line in the barrier, and Simon. It's desperation just tucked to the side of Josh. You said you can't. Trying to deny. As Good EDG is. are trying to deny Rubble currently. Big reveal, big coverage. Mini Boo. Straight up and over. Benji Fishy looking to contain. Plugging up the holes, but he is alone. Isolated Smoggy. Bite of the apple. Tap tap with a rifle. Resets it. To draw this core, oh, the play's being made all across the board. Chichu, you didn't have to do it to him, not like that. Embarrasses heretics in through tree. He is the immovable object of EDG. And could we have it any other way? Gold to try and get that info. Rians is calling. Wait, guys, they've potentially given this all the way up. Yeah. They, they need to rely on ults. What is that? Wide face, five players to receive and face him. Simon steps up, takes the challenge and takes the fight. But now the squeeze. Paranoia is perfect. And an ult to supplement. It's a cherry on top. Nobody denied. Can't step past the blue room. Smoggy's just wondering where it all went wrong. He's the player that's been alone defending C these past couple rounds. Usually this is his map. He's averaging a kill per round when he plays Clove on Lotus. <laughs> but this would be something different. Yeah, he'd have to pump up those numbers heavily. Jumping through, it's Mini Boot. Shuts him down to it. A round down for now. For now being the key words. Kang Kang! He's handed. Offered an opportunity, and snappy reaction times are on display. Damage and bullets exchange. Woot from behind. Delivers that dagger, at least stolen from him. It's Rians. He lights up the feed. So much damage been done. The players from Heretics are leaving bruised and battered. They haven't forced out the Rolling Thunder either. If they could have put enough pressure on Simon, maybe he would have cracked, but such composure to keep that ult. And if Smoggy gets one, suddenly... There. They're not dead yet online. Yeah. They will be a nuisance. And this is this is the kind of spot where oh, you can yeah. try to play cheeky angles like this. Well done. Got the online has a TP into the back. Ooh, hard commits that. Now you're putting the squeeze onto Smoggy. He Love this. is in the danger. There's no retreat here. There's no retreat at all. And once more heretics show that discipline on display. Kang Kang accounted for. It's only one before he's dropped. An open sight here for heretics. 30 seconds left. I love that snake bite. Trying to deny any space over towards waterfall. So Rienz gets a safe plant off. A decision making time for Simon. With a pit in a 2v3, you probably do not want to be using Rolling Thunder. But if they can get a spam kill, which EDG are normally so good at, maybe it becomes worthwhile. Chances. Need a kill though to make it happen. To get the ball rolling. They have Haunt. Haunt, and he sort of reveals not quite. Right there. It's Util expended for his team. Have to remain vigilant. Enough Util use, yet Smoggy. Straight back onto the line. And Mini Boo is taken out. He's got to watch now. The rest of his team to see if they can piece together this round when they're a player down. Bring them down. Even more so onto these angles, the contact play is called and around Paranoia. Not even a connection, Smoggy. He's working this map like it's his playground right now, especially onto the side, but he needs some backup and he needs to bail out. Heretics finding it, dashing away, cancel the movement, Kang Kang dropped down with a decay damage, can't stand against it. Smoggy also being pushed back, pushed away in the nano oh. swarm. Benji, they knew he was there. The right util at the right time to punish Smoggy, trying to cleave the way through. One kill found, and he's still got a not dead yet! But he might not even need it! On for the ace! Damage Thunderboo! Round and round we go onto the side. 
Taking it away, he's got the speed boo buff intact. There's no plant online. There's pressure still on the shoulders of Boo. How long does Boo hold for? Left. Smoggy's Ooh. reading into this, thinking that he's gone for the rotate. Oh my. It's a possibility. There was enough time for it. Boo could have walked all the way and just ran when he was out of range, but now back over towards C. Boo can die to spam here as he plants. Definitely but I, I'm can. not even sure that Smoggy no. has enough bullets he in his gun. He has gone for the reload. He was scared of a player being close, and now creeping, crawling up close. 1v1 still down to the timings. Smoggy can't do it with pistol in hand. Is that much more winnable here. Going for the potential B pivot. The door was already opened wide here. Benji footsteps rumbling towards them. And now there's Simon. Time to strike. Time to see if he can collect the Coraldi's kills up and around. Chichu back and around. Obtains the upgrade. The three versus three is where we stand. Heretics with time to cancel. EDG thought it was actually a B pivot going on there. You could see it in the way that Chichu threw his paranoia. Yeah. And yet they still held tall. Now nobody Body. has to do it all. Sees the shoulder. Tried to play patiently. And Smoggy drifting into the fight, into the fray. Not watched for, anticipating that re-swing. Ops into the hole now, not dead yet. Spam follows through. He needs the kill, he needs the assist, but Heretics are the ones under that pressure. And G2 collect. Has it online again, his ult. Once more, Odin spam. TP across, TP up top, and Wood is going to be traded. Just the one for his efforts. Chichu still here. Guess what? Peeking off of the util. There's more where that came from. Boo. See if he can cleave away in a path right through, but they realize that A is futile. It's time to make the great retreat. Yeah, I think they actually saw both pieces of utility coming from Smoggy and Simon. So they've got a pretty good read here that C is empty, and they're going to confirm it with lockdown. Chichu all. you can go for the instant reposition as well. They can shore this one up. You know that the site's cleared out. Heretics. Good plant position too. Yeah. Trying Fight to think plant. ahead here. Into the round, a bit of spam from Boo. I like this. Forces Util. Forces EDG to be diligent with the clearing. Already they actually see it. Yeah, they didn't even use Utility though. They saved the Util and just barreled forward with two or three players looking to try to trade out. So now they have that utility to clear the side, but Boo! And, oh, listen, if you're going to try and opt in, exactly, brute force. It's the domain where Heretics will seek to punish, yet still smokes, propped up, and heads being pried straight off the bodies. Left down to Benji. Planted for him, up onto Mound. Nana swarms up and over, just about catching, but Simon's got the half, and that's a potential wink on drop down time. Is of the essence ticking away from them. TP up and around. He may not think he's claimed. No way, Simon! No way! Drop dead in his tracks! Play with this half, but as it is, Chinese squad knocked down to lower economy. And trying to game. trying to control rubble. They yeah. they've kind of missed out on the control of this part of the map the whole game. Their comms doesn't really favour it, but now they're driving Heretics into B. Fast plays all around the map. Trying to go for that reaction, overdrive, it's here! Kang Kang collects, it's all vented! And the bush is stunted! Uh, no. What is Nova. this? Kang Kang, he's trying to find it! Needs to be disciplined! And just evacuates to get out, but Wood is still there, into the back of the side! Unaccounted for! Will make them rude a day. That they decided to ignore that position. Two dropped. There's the third. It's all on Woos. And this guy is undeniable. The form factor. An ace deny. But Smokey's got much more to do on the back side of that. And enough of the This info, if anything, is good for EDG oh, to play off. Okay, here in the footsteps. Bates whoop forwards. Yeah, Kang Kang's given, he's given that timing. Handed on a platter. Boo. Drifting back into position. We'll have to evade a lot of this util. Reveal, it tags. They know he's there. Sees. Delayed. Not delayed enough, I should say. After shot now in through the back as well. Gives him a bit of peace of mind. Kang Kang, he's right there. Nobody. Make sure that there's no problems occurring just from the backside of Pit. Benji Fishy. In position, in place. Flash the peak, but the weapon at hand just not good enough. He was sharp though. We need more than a keen eye in that spot. Re-ends with it all to do. Yeah. And no chances. EDG time now they want to go. until they hit. Exactly. Waiting for the util to come back out. Regenerative. That it is. 
the fault line through Benji Fishy. Is there any play to deny Waterfall here? Because otherwise EDG could get spammed. Yeah, they certainly can. It's a plan tucked into the corner. No spam at work. No player in position to do such that. It's Heretics. Five alive versus five. Trying to play this retake now. Planted for Mountain, but playing on site. Yeah. Controversial. EDG, we'll see if it pays off now. Gonna try and hold this one back. Overdrive. It's already unleashed. Smoky tucks himself up onto the high ground. Perched away. Damage has definitely been done, and a weakened boo can do no but scurry. But there's no. Kang Kang now trying to lead the charge with the rest of his team. There are smokes though. Drop down in position. Boo. Just lights him up. Kang Kang. Heads potentially rolling. Woot. Beautiful shots, all rattled away. The adjustment by Benji Fishy just not in place. Rienzo with a quick timing, unexpected flank. It's a tap. Simon's watching for it, trying to bait it out. Haven't committed. Rienzo is giving that now as a chance for the 1v1. What is going on? Shots going to miss. Position is revealed. Classic in hand. Rienzo just cannot escape. Nobody quick to onto both of them. We're trying to get the hell out of there, but he's revealed. Up, horn. My goodness, the counter spam is perfect. Great coverage. Reinforcements did arrive in time, and Heretics enough to get that initial player advantage. And I like the change of it. Heretics really looking like they're fighting over rubble there, forces that rolling thunder out. Now they're in a great position where you actually can sit back a little further. Oh, it's going to be used. Roots looking for info. Left. Cleared out, broken. Heretics getting a very good idea that this is going to be ending over towards C. I don't think they have just yet. They're four players stacked on A, expecting the re-hit. They should have, potentially. Maybe hoping that the Utah's enough to delay, but Lambot, Nana Swarm, gonna be broken here. And Benji's plant. waiting for this plant. He is, nobody. Ten tucked to the corner left. here, an aftershot, just to try and at least buy them that piece of mind. A bit of spam, straight bullets. No kill, no sight. Nobody doesn't plant in the corner, he plants a little off. Who's gonna be offloading the ult of his own? Nightfall scatters and connects. Gets the mark onto three of them. No more sound cues for the majority of them. Satchel's through and a bound as well, but a bullet attack slowing them into their approach. The onslaught is occurring, and Heretics looking to barrel their way through. They take control. And even out that scoreline straight to the top of your screens. He's already got the acknowledgement. He knows it from the bullet spam. <laughs> he definitely knows there's a lot of players' mounds. GDG looking to try and send it now. Nana Swarm dropped down towards the feet. Here's a lot of Yuto going to be used in kind. Boo! Only with the one. Firepower straight back at them. EDG decimate the defense. With two being found from Kung Kung as well. Still continuing to carve into these sites. Can Woot and Mini Boo make anything of this? It's a 2v4. But the ult online for. Mini Boo, there's chances, but it requires the impetus, a kill to be found at least, but with Woo dropping, chances dwindling, and yet, yeah, return of the fire, a swing from Simon, getting this a bit more winnable, but the defensive setup has adjusted. Mini Boo, and Woot, trying to make their mark known here, that's an early opening with Kang Kang falling. It's very, very tough to hold on to mound against EDG, they've got really great protocols for this. They're going to try and reclear. Yeah, you see the way that they're going to tap door? Yeah. To Paranoia, already sent flying as well. You have to give this one up, and it is respected. Heretics. Really well done there. Just pull this util out, now holding, defaulting, drifting back into the crossfire. Setup, he just missed it. Think barely a shoulder, potentially poking out. Ult online, no kill. Chichu is avoiding. And dancing with death with that one. But dodge most of it, and still found an opening. In through main, Smoggy's collecting. It's EDG working magic across the map. What was going on there? That was Boo late on the call to get the Viper wall up? Was oh, Rien's no. late on the on the acknowledgement of the comm? What is going on over towards B? EDG have just been granted an excellent route back in. It's that uncertainty swirling. The Heretics players are losing track, but maybe Rien's can answer back. It's two found. Instant there with a stun. And a swing once more from Simon, but not dead yet. Need to find some value. I believe Smoggy Jishu. will have to hunt down some kills. TB from Chichu punished, and it leaves it down to one. The rookie struggle in this series, at least in this map as well, with his confidence, and he's got to do it against Mini Boo Benji. Swap of the weapons, pass the rifle over to the healthier player, and a lockdown committed. 
Simon, how do you play this? Force the press forwards potentially there. He's overstaying his welcome. Swings potentially. Footsteps down! Simon! Away from the idea of setting up one big star player to go in yeah. and dominate. Oh. But I think EDG are showcasing that with the right the supportive elements, it really can work. Rien's rocked. Has the ult online. Do you go for that committal at the start or do you wait to see if EDG pressure C? Can't let the despair settle in though if you are heretics. Try and dig deep once more. EDG straight over towards B. Overdrive by Kang Kang. He's earned that one well. A bit of random spray straight through the smokes. Cleared out most of the avenue. So nobody with the plan down. Kang Kang. Holding it down still with that paranoia to stun. Disrespected. Mini Boo takes the fight straight to him. Dropping him down. The smoke is there. Lying in wait once more. It's all collapsing. Heretics have no more chances in this map. Rians would have to pick up the pieces. He'd have to pull up a miracle. A double up discipline. EDG have a choke hold on to the site. 13 to 9. Time in a spot like this. EDG are on the cusp, they've already made history for China, for themselves, with a minimum finish. The look at the card they're placing in the history books by being champ winners here. Benji instantly answers! One enemy remaining. The flood defense comes up with the goods. A plant down for Kang Kang to play around, but smoked off. His team was picked apart, methodical was the nature. And Heretics now can stick this one. Peace of mind here. Yeah, there's no There's way. no chance of Kang Kang. Pissed around the heretics. That's what they need. Inside hookah. Feeling like he needs to step up to it. Side swing. It's traded. The boost still there. Not knock at the front door here. TP immediately. It's going to be cleaning up Chichu. Dropped him. 20 I seconds. Smoggy has to leave. Yeah, that's a TP. And now these two players are scattered. Kang Kang trying to catch that. He does. Rotations. No safety available, not for Boo. Trying to get a run on, trying to see if they can play this timing well, but already, plan is down for Smoggy. Retreats to a bit of safety, backed into showers. Kang Kang, crossfire. Setup is available, all the way up in heaven. Onto the wire, tap already. Bullet to the back. Mini Boo down. And Woot left to do it all. Stray bullets running out. Nothing else to work with, but the sidearm, and still finds that one. Still, reload. Time enough for it. The time is ticking. Not really against him. Smoggy spraying. Spam not on time. I mean, woo, 38. Seven bullets. Run down. Pistol in hand. Smoggy. He's now made his way into lamps. This is a spot that he's going to have to be cautious as the orb drops, but could backstab. Oh, did you contact all the way? I'm not to get a kill there. Bullets flying forwards from Boo. Look at the answer. Testing the defense a little bit, EDG in through a short, spam and spray. Attempt to deny that plan from coming down, but EDG get that extension that they were looking for. Tripled up. Lamps is a hot commodity. Rian still has full util. Mosh into Lamps here would clear that out. Roombot sees it, spots it. Minibu just taking the peek anyway. Mosh over the top. Doesn't clear it out. Sliders to Bangles to play into, and that window of opportunity is seized. Chichu in through the back. Sidestep again, Benji. Meeting them pound for pound, but it's a 2v3. And the hourglass is running dry. It's a tap from Woot. He wants to force them out into the open. But no easy access to any of these players. Benji wrapping all the way around. He knows the only option is to run through the TP. Must have got a tag from to make a play like that. They want to run them down. Where they stand, Simon. Crash is ready. Going to be scratching his head at that one. Miniboo was looking to take a timing because he couldn't stay short for that long. But Kang Kang's taken one of his own. He slipped into this cubby on B site in front of the Viper wall, and now he can play the rest of his team in. All over the place! Dizzy! Combines the might, augmented with a showstopper! And Heretics! Aggro. This is again. No way, not the path was clear, Miniboo. There's no way you escape. He does not at that. And then the Thrash comes through to try to shower's crunch, but they're not set up for it, and it was too late to bail him out. 
It's a disaster for Heretics. No connection, a wasted ult. Hiding from, that, down. hiding from that boom bot, Ren, just gave EDG the most enormous advantage in the round. And now Heretics forced to take risks. And with the info that plenty of players were showers, they've pushed out B, pushed out Fountain, the fight happening in Cave. Here's a brawl, skirmish to take place. Kang Kang, just the one and gets out, dropped down to one HP, still lucky to be alive. Benji Fishy, it's your time to shine. Up and pass for the Prowler, lap behind you. Horn for most of the way here, Reins reveals himself. Look down towards it, over the strike, that's 13 seconds left to plant. That time pressure is applied, EDG have got to make a go of this one. Rebound to the Molly, but it just about missed. Simon's still alive, here's the Nightfall now. Sends it flying and can't come with it. Oh, there's some value! Benji Fishy, drop down, Reins knew where he was from prior. Players are stepping up to the challenge here, but he's going to try and pluck them out of the picture still. EDG troubled up, locking it down, ensuring that Reigns cannot step over that line. It's full control. He's hoping for the random shot, but it will not happen in time. If Benji wasn't fried in the process, the bullets at least did the job before. It boo up and oh. over. This is where Chishu loves to take fights, but Reigns on the other side, and Chishu's taking the timing. Tested here, Chishu with that timing. Puts a bullet there, straight to the brain of Boo. Smoggy trying to evacuate, knows that they have to try and retreat, but already the timing, whipping it around. Woot, he's caught all the way behind them. If you kill Smoggy, it's a spike drop down. This timing and angle is absolutely everything. Smoggy, he wins out that fight. Chichu, the choke hold onto it, but his gaps into the play, and the pit just plays them in anyway. Dizzy, not broken in time, gets the reveal. Just one by Mini Boo is immaculate. Eviscerating the opposition, EDG. It can at least give them some idea of where the danger is. Watch the live, but Miniboo now is going to be under an immense amount of pressure. Woot's going to be covering. Fire over the shoulder. Still trying to lock down that shower's control as well, but revealed up. Uh, there's some danger here still. Sees, connects. They see the terror into the corner. Chichu! It's a nasty one. Pulls it back from the brink, but not before he is toppled. Amps control. Once again, putting the premium. Simon! What is that man? Matters into his own hands, this rookie is lighting them up! You gotta be joking! What is that? What a round from Simon! We're aiming to hold them back, he hears that jump spot. Snaps to the side, no shots on target though from Chichu, and he has revealed his hand here. He is very deep flank, Woot. Now Lauren hands, Boos, he can retreat. It's an open angle, unaccounted for. I like this pause though, you've already killed the Smokes player. If you wait out the Viper wall, they've got nothing to be able to stop you. Woot's really the only danger player here, I think. Yes, the info. Then again, this pit is actually going to be a little difficult to get through. I'm surprised Benji invests this. 4v5 with only a Sheriff. Yeah, Woot's got the info, I think, that they're all trying to make their left. way over towards B. And they're already holding this down, missing the shots. Needed to be towards the dome anyway. And TP's putting a squeeze back onto him. Still, Kang Kang, maybe a bit of miscom. Mini Boo has ult. And this right round, this round should be over. It's theirs for the taking. Showstopper unleashed. Let loose onto the feet. Nobody did not stand a chance. Blown to smithereens, reveals up and counting. Six seconds left, there's no plant in sight. You can take your time because a round is in the palm of their hands. Heretics, swing bank, at least the pendulum. Still got wall up. There's so much they have to get through. Seize, Nightfall. Exactly. It looks so tough. Everything you could ask for if you are Heretics, just trying to bunker down, bolster the defense. And with 23 seconds left, time running short. It's an all offloaded. Kang Kang trying to get into the mix, into the action, and a fight to be taken, but traded out anyway. Beam down with a phantom in hand. It's just that one for one, and a plan from Simon. It's going to go off anyway. There's no pushback occurring. Not from Heretics, not right now, but maybe enough damage has been done. It's a four versus four. Reset into the round. Benji was just watching for any sort of stragglers. Hard committed positions by EDG. It's up to Smoggy to hold them back from the elbow angle. Pixel angle to work with. Nade. This is cheeky. Dodges rebound. Snake bite at hand. Heretics carving out chunks and pieces of the map. But being met here. At least the firepower. Chichu can't spray them down in time. And repositions. Up and over to heaven, walking their way forwards. I mean, EDG not to be deterred. 
No, and Benji is aware that they're giving Lamps this control right now, but it does mean that he's got to watch multiple positions. This position sucks. I mean, Benji in this spot is going to try and retreat as well. They don't have showers control. Luckily, nobody's there ready to pounce on him when the damage is done. Simon, another play to be made. The rookie wants to step up straight away. Here's that reload! And Boo just barely ready to wrangle control. Straight back at him. Orbital strike. No damage done, but Smokey collecting kills from all across the place. Boo seeking to dominate the angle. Make sure the showers is not being recleared into this 3v3. Satchel's overhead have to be broken. The pressure get into them. Satchel breaks it. Dizzy up and over in through the smoke though. Nobody spamming and now swarming. Dominating EDG. What a response. Nightfall going to be enough though. That's a question. They don't have map control over towards B. Very much an all in. They don't have map control over towards B. It looks like they would want to thrash through sand. Does Mini Boo, sorry, does Boo get the call? Footsteps, not even. That's through and away, the crossfire set up, it's broken apart to pieces. TP, it's not enough. Mini Boo with just the one, but the orbital strike does at least split them in twine. EDG, trying to go for this one now. Smoggy with the plant. Back being held, that's Chichu watching onto the angle. Still with control, Simon is alive and kicking. Making sure that the flank is watched for. I like the smoke, allows them to take back side control, but they've got so much more to do here, Team Heretics. Yeah. They've allowed EDG in again. Plant, post-plant positions, all looking very diligent. Horns up on either side here, up and over, all need to be pre-aimed. Boo's on top of it, clears the way for most. Oh, for this hooker. He sees two. All he has to be used, sees up and over, it's dodged, this miss. Simon with the timing, softened up, damaged up, and the molly now rebounds, and it should be good for the cause already. The circle's head. starting to shrink, time is starting to run short, G2 denies any chances. And six to six, once more is where we stand. Pop. All they need is bind. All heretics need is a kill, potentially to open up this A site. Right for the taking, nobody with a spray down, spam shots, no connection, no damage done. Inside through the smoke, Reins. Beautiful shot. Fight on the flank here. Benji's gonna seek to maintain control of this angle. Simon again, the rookie asked to do quite a lot in this spot, but diligent. Cool calm and collected from almost the entirety of Heretics. It's a pistol round that's in the palm of their hands. Yeah, major win for them here. EDG did look a little shaky on their attack side macro, which is a wild thing to be saying, considering that they still got six rounds out of it. But I would expect Heretics to be... 45 seconds into the round, no control of eight. If they go for a hookah reclear, no. straight into the judge. Oh, These are the moments that could just lose you the grand finals. You're gonna hear the hearts break of many of these players, oh! or perhaps... Just sing in unison, Chi Chu and Kang Kang. <laughs> That's beautiful work. It couldn't have done better for them. Spectacular. There's so much danger going for a play like that. And Boo's now asked to win a 1v4. This one part easier, but not the follow up there. Nobody. Oh. Gonna be going straight into the mall. They have not cleared Kang Kang. In fact, I don't even think they know Kang Kang's here. Smoggy to take contact. A dizzy over the top. Molly in the hands of Smoggy, and there's that contact caught. Players are falling. It's a fiery finish, potentially in the A short. Avenue Rians has got her answer back. And does so with that shot. Right on target, 2v3. Who from the side turns into a two versus two. Slightly more winnable. Out wide. But accounting for it, and the horn is perfection. Spam from the box just to finish that. You've got three spots that you can be swung from, including the teleporter. Boo's got his util out. Oh my goodness, almost adjusting still, Kang Kang. With the one double satchels committed to try and stay alive. Nobody. Eyes set onto the target. Mosh pit up and over. Now with the nade and the TP's core. Benji! Benji! Can't get the third, but already he's done the damage and now doubled up. Kills collected. It's a swarm and an overwhelming presence from Heretics in through the side into the back of his showstopper. This is where it should thrive up and over. But a shot return, bullet to the brain, nobody with a hell of a task. Gargantuan in nature and a wide swing from Rians. I'm just running short. The fast flank. And here it is. All emphasis placed onto this. Mini boot. It's a showstopper in his hands. One right decision. 
One correct guess could completely change the tide of this fight. Wu just misses the dizzy with ease once more. Nightfall dropped, cracking down on his orbital strike, trying to spray them down. Players are dropped on every single angle. Biddy Boo wins the fight out, and time is barely there to spare. Chi Chu, no long for this world. It's sand control at all times, Kang Kang. Benji! Oh boy. You do not expect Benji to be picking up an op in the final round. Kang Kang at peak. I couldn't tell if Kang Kang had one of his own or if it was just a rifle in play, but you're not favored there when Benji can just lock it down. He's so much further away from the corner as well. He's always going to see you first, but yeah. Kang Kang relying on his skill to take him over the line. This pit, though, continues to be a bit of a bother. Heretics, by the look of it, Want to kind of commit to the B site and then just leave Hooker. Benji. Plays in front of him, goes for the no scope, spam down, hello, alt online, Chichu, an attempt to deny the plant. Online, but at least collects the kill before the trade is online, up to 12 and that plant goes off without a hitch, heretics can feel it. They know the Benji is market. He's going to be holding it, still with that operator, you can't really get active into this moment, but oh, here in the footsteps, double back, Simon lights him up. Heads will roll in a CDG to the such. I mean, trying to stay alive into this map at this point. It's all stacked against them. Avenues accounted for. Positions watched, but luck of the draw there. Util out into the hands. Spamming, praying one away down to the 1v1. Remaining. Simon has got to do it all. A tap and a short landed. Got no armor to go along with it, though. Potential tool that they could use. Slower play by Heretics and still. They are in the driving seat, nobody tucks himself close, a bit of stray spam, but nobody finding a mark, he's weaving around them, dancing around them, eventually found and dropped, plants it online, but none the wiser, and an alternate hand to Kang Kang, spotting the retreating players, at least hearing it, a pre-fire towards the corner, to no avail, Nade, rebounds, damage, connects, it cancels, Rians, he's out of it, Simon's defusing, what a body block, Simon, he's got it on the way, Absolutely spectacular! Broken. Four points more. Renewed. Refreshed. Snake by to answer. Hard committed onto the corner. Showstopper right from behind! But Kang Kang skewers them in place. Up and over with a Salkyus cut. EDG making a go of things. 35 seconds, the plant is down. Nade and Molly down at the feet, dropping Boo in place. And Woot can do naught but watch on in horror as another round is lost. Skill that few others in the world can match. No one's really possessing it. Ice cold. Heretics relegated down to essentially a bargain bin by. Don't get me wrong, there's still that danger, but it's all on the line and they're all grouped up. This is very much looking like an all-in play and approach. Horns is not broken, Nade and spam right through the box. An opening kill onto Smoggy, pit in place. Nobody seeking to answer back. This is where Kang Kang should be looking to pick up the rifle. He does. They have thrashed to try to clear the pit. There's still many chances for EDG to take it to overtime. Flank control, watch for, and like you said, the thrash is going to be clearing and cleaving the way through path, potentially. Here, lying in wait, thrashes there alongside the seas. His players seem to be defended. Woot steps up to the challenge, but dropped inside. Kang Kang! Overtime in sight. And EDG are hungry for it. Trying to will it forward. Fuse the night for the shot. The line! They don't have it! Time! Time! It's not a line, man! Heartbreak for EDG! Onto angles. Priority, almost paying off mini boot. Has to activate the dash. Drop down to one HP. Benji gonna get challenged here. He's holding the slightest of off angles here with a knife. Activates the cage. He's gonna be hiding in this one. Here's that timing and strikes right where it hurts. Kang Kang removed. Chewing up these players as well, but he's just gonna try and survive with the flash in his face through the backside control. He can lay claim and lay waste, but Chichu is doing exactly that on the other side of things. A. Hey, Cracked wide open, rotations are forced, and damage still yet to be done, nobody. 
Standing ahead. It's creeping, crawling forwards, finally reveals his hands. He's using the dart to try and get ahead of the timing, but he's dropped instead. That's way too aggressive for nobody. It's just giving away the advantage, oh, but Smoggy's oh, there. Mini -boo! The return of the fire, the return of the shot. It's a 2v2. Anyone's game here for the pistol round. Nobody's distraction, though, has given these players so much space to go and play with. Chichu's post plan position is ridiculous. Yeah. And somehow, somehow Mini Boo and Benji are reading into it. They're no slowly way. clearing this. Slowly clearing, but damage needs to be done. Benji Fishy doesn't account for Simon. Once more, this rook to be good for it. This is the final map of the grand finals of champs. You cannot let free kills escape. Boo, great timing on the swing. A little bit labor with the follow up. Unable to achieve second kill that he was hoping for. Stars rejuvenating. Mini Boo, talk about heating up. And he will turn up. Back with a vengeance. I have the smite. An impossible task for Smoggy here. We're seeing quite a bit of EDG trying to sneak through along this back Ten pillar seconds route. Left. The more damage he does, the better it is. But he's not going to be able to get even the plant down. Well, I mean, he'll go for it for the money, of course, yeah, but not to money. extend the round. Into the tail end. <laughs> Not the worst scenario. Yeah, it means though that he has to keep the guard. Primes and ready. Good pounce being double held. And while the Dizzy gets that acknowledgement connecting. Shots here for Smoggy. Realizes his back is open. The paranoia has to be let loose. Unleashed that. Up and over top. Spam potential might be there. Woot. We'll just lock that one down. Crouched up. Finds the angle, but an open B side as a result of it. It's all about whether EDG can find that spacing and already in through the back of the site. Unexpected Woot. Don't get punished though, flash up and over towards the top. It's going one for one with the kills, and Simon! Goodness me, Benji, able to respond. Flatlines him, brings it to that 1v2. It's a clutch, he'd love to win! Nobody offers up the kill anyway, seven bullets remaining. Chichu knows the player's life. <laughs> and as he backs up, this is going to be a tough situation for Benji. Definitely is. On top of it, tap to force out the first round of this. Position to be played. Cam catches it! Oh. And Chichu catches a bullet straight to the dome! Lay it down at the feet. Cosmic Divide will ensure that they don't get spammed down. That's precarious, Kang Kang. Drifting off to the edge there, but the plant should go down without any problem. Simon. Lays it down onto the floor. 5v5 still, and the flank is being watched ever so slightly. Still, there's that uncertainty. You can see. Heads on a swivel. Maybe we're scared of the punish. Yeah, the, the star not being laid down here on the spike, actually. No Whoa, they, they did not expect Kung Kung. Kang Kang's laying claim towards the back of the side. Nowhere clearing. Mini Boo has the strike. Spraying down. Survival is necessary. Chichu. Enough for the fire from behind. Rian's now sticking. Pull is late. Half already. And up onto the flank. Chichu has brought him an opportunity. And no one can stand against that. Yeah, no pushback. Damage done. Stray bullets. Rians really needs to be careful here. Playing in Benji. Flashes out and through Benji. In through the back once more. Shot darts. Laying down the damage. Laying down the bullets, but it's just a bit delayed. Rians can't quite deny that one. And out of thrash. Trying to play them back in. It's still sprayed down off to the side. Collecting these kills. Dissecting the map. Heretics are trying to flood their way back in once more. But stars are laying down. Darts revealing all. Post plan util for days on EDG's side. It comes down to the shots being hit. We're with the defuse. Once more to pull in sight. No half obtained. A drop down to the wire. Hunter's Fury will close with no issues at all. Who is left to scramble? And EDG holds strong. See them getting aggressive on defense here, I think. Nice pushback. Dash is active. In through, there's a the slightest of timings, but Rian, the shot just missing. Defense in order here. Simon just pushing back the invaders onto the site. It is theirs. Rian's ult just popped off. It's a winnable scenario, and the kill is collected. Spike needs to go down. Four seconds, nobody will be able to stick it. Denied. From the break, Heretics found their answer. How do you clear through the fog of war? Smokes at their back, Benji Fishy. Here's the dash, knows his time is now. That's a mosh pit that he just kicks right into their face and they weren't perhaps expecting that still spike. Drop down to the feet, the side opened up over towards at least B main. 
Three versus three, though. This is rapid by Heretics. Looking to shore this one up. Potential for the flood, but an off retake, as you mentioned. It's never oh. ideal. Whips it around him. But he dropped. 2v2. Here. Not willing to give up that operator just yet, Ken Ken. Down into the bridge, almost takes the timing straight past the Dizzy. He's causing all sorts of problems, mischief right now, and he just needs to buy time for Simon. Striking right where it hurts, dropping these players in their tracks. Potentially trying to pull these players for Simon to capitalize, but no, the call is cancelled anyway. They want to take this one in the direction of A. Bodies are still lining up, reinforcements arriving here in the footsteps. It's a rumble! And a scattered fight indeed. Skirmish to be taken. EDG! A striking right where it hurts. Nobody's detained. But honestly, again, the scaling that's required. Touch to the side and the weapon's right out. Ready to strike. Boo is dropped in place. A mini Boo left with it all to do. It's just not possible. Whoop the Wonder Boy. He'll make a good go, but that is just anchors nobody to even break the drone and threaten like there could be anybody there key's been left in the door spike exchanges of the hands you hear these footsteps and have a tap as well seeing what the reaction is and maybe counter spam push back posture boo can't stand against it cosmic divide though is ready lying in wait the protocols are so good from edg to get the plant down they're not getting caught by this benji though up onto the cross that was up through mid kang kang was trying to be that delayed pressure presence potential it's all going to be removed now, and you can try and flood these players right back in. Jichu, spammable angle, finally removed. Front of the site is theirs, and here is the old Cosmic Divide. Has to be used, Simon! What is that? Hunter's Fury, off and around. Where's the next layer to all of this here? Wingman onto the defuse, Mini Boost sticking already. Hold the line, cross fires, in order, in action. Heretics. Yeah, I mean, fire in the dark. He gets away with it. That the play was being made here, and they've lost control of mid into the process. Oh my god! Nobody! Oh, goodness me! But you're right, it could have been a bait and switch to fake out. And I think, I mean, look at the way that Simon's pathing too. They're reading into this. Oh, yeah. It's so similar to what nobody himself does to fake. 30 seconds. The Util is primed and ready. Into the hands of these players on either side here to pull to meet that one with the dizzy. Pound for pound, bodies are gonna drop and fall, but it's hardy. It's perfect once more. Nobody and Simon. They combine their might. They drop these heretics players dead. Time against them once more. Boo needs to get this kill and will do just that. Defending, punched up, Rians, round in the ball, kill gang. For Chichu and nobody. Rotating around though, they've given up the positions that they were once holding. Smoke activated, nobody's inside it. Trying to get ahead of the curve and ahead of most of these plays as well, but barrels out, instant trade, Woot is good for it. Star up and over, Chicha trying to stun, trying to stay alive, but against that, it's an onslaught, and it's overwhelming. Simon, back in the fray in the fight, but dropped at a moment's notice like that. This is Heretics again with an open answer to this beast. What a mistake. Stack of plays now coming, Dart. It's gonna be easy. Cloud Burst just cannot defend. Kang Kang away from that angle, still heaven untouched. And Chi around the back as well. Good with the aim, but still damage not enough done. Hunter's Fury, if nobody is let loose, it's ripped out into place and the kill is collected but used in kind by Rians. It's not an ult that they're gonna have here. And EDG, they can pounce on this, they can claim that 12. They can back off sight. Chi fell in the midst of all of this. No cosmic divide available. But still. Potentially overzealous, past their own trips into the backside controller. Paranoia swoops his way through and cuts out those angles. Dart up and over! Swing from Benji! Boo provides the finishing cover! And the firing line is there. Simon can only do so much. The position like this, it is to no avail. If he lifted, both of these teams are going to be hoping, praying for a play made. Dash forwards, Kang Kang. It's a lighter weaponry to work with. Benji Fishy has to hold back the line. Overwhelmed and swarmed. Too many bodies. The blade storm is unleashed. Kang Kang trying to make the most of this. Right there behind them, they've lost control of the flank. Heretics Fight have to keep a watchful Base eye onto this one, but options available if they want to flip the map. Concealment. Low enough. One bullet will do him in. Kang Kang aims to do the most, and the open sightline head is found. Out for the side once more. Boo. 
Swings, perfect timing, but leaps into the fray and wasn't expecting that. Smoky, fully aware. Rians, potentially accounted for, maybe heard the footsteps, maybe not. I'm not too sure still. Gets the job done. Time is ticking. Wu to do it all. Thrash in hand. You can see the deny, you can see the delay. Up and over the TP. Wu! Has he got it done? That's so close! The circle shrink. I don't think he's got it! It's milliseconds! Smoky! Oh my! Mini boot. It's a rapid play from Heretics. He's going to be leading the charge once more. Blade Storm dash to the side. Evacuation. Caught on either side. Up and over though. The high ground perch. And potentially the danger zone. Dizzy up and over the top. Connections abound. Heretics are dropping them all in their place. It's Rian's watchful eye onto all the angles. He dominates them onto the side. Simon to respond. But it's only the one. Ult is available in the back pocket. But do you choose to use it? Do you choose to commit? Heads available, ready to be popped. But it's all Rians and Woot! Side by side! He slapped them down. The pressure shifted onto them and Kang Kang forced a step up to the moment! Dash to avoid! And shots are fired! Kang Kang! He's monstrous when he gets going! And he does it! Oh, no single-handedly! Anything. This guy's farming. He's the main character. He's got the aura to back it up. It's the impetus now. And the tension just breaks with that four-piece. You were all ready to tell the story of Heartbreak for Heretics. I hope you didn't throw away the pages of the book. Oh, no. It's still there. To come so close to the finish line once more. Closer than ever before to the finish line. Touching distance of the trophy. EDG, steal it right back. Kang Kang in hand, the signature weapon of this man right here. Been highlighting him, been gassing him. He's gonna be under that pressure, but still delivers. One shot found. And a chisel slowly etching away the potential for EDG to make history for China. A trophy lift in sight. Rians with the plan, Cosmic Divide. Providing that safety. But it fades away. And a reset called for. Player disadvantage still here. Plenty of targets. Open and shut. Simon with the old Paranoia sweeps. This is it. An attempt to deny. Quick scope in blaze. EDG. It's up to Boo to push them back and away. TP's up and over. No kill to be found. It's one man. What can he do? Against the bite of EDG! Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and share if you like it.